Yo, what is up? It is time for our daily Pantheon 5 run. We are using the Painter's Pupil, or I guess Little Shear uh, skin. Our charms, as always, are Unbreakable Strength, Quick Slash, Marble Fight, Steady Body, and Nail Master's Glory. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, the colors change. The nail, the nail hit changes. I like it. It's cute. My cat is staring at me. What am I supposed to tell her? Don't stare. It's impolite. What am I supposed to say? Alternating colors are really cute. The, the red cyclone is cute as well. We definitely will get a thumbnail with Shio, because he will be. Let's go. mini juggle Oh, yeah. 
let's go. Yes, so Little shield fighting Oro and Mato. Mato first. Okay. Good. Very, very cute. Ah, his crystal dash is the normal, I see. His shriek is also the normal. Get hit there. Uh, uh. Thinking. Hmm. Maybe doing all of this drama, I couldn't find. I didn't see that. What 
can I say? Let's go! Okay. Let's go. Oh, it's me. I mean, it's big me. Oh, it's my big brother. That's a really nice, really nice thumbnail. And next to the painting stand as well. That's cool. Let's go, let's go, let's go.
Let's go. Hope you guys have been enjoying the chess streams. I am still very, very new to the game and very low rank, but it's to be expected, right? I'm just two days in. But hopefully we will improve and become better at the game. It's also a really fun game to stream, I don't know why. It's kind maybe it's because it, it's so chill compared to either PvP games, like regular PvP games that are more mechanical, you know. Oh. oh also it doesn't have any any RNG so everything is kinda known up front, you know? Nothing can surprise you besides the moves of your opponent. Right? Because everything works the same. know how to do a scholar's mate so that's cool but it's the easiest I think to do as well so not much hype over there still knowing something and knowing how to execute it is pretty nice And understanding why it works also is nice. See the fireball is also not changed from the base version of the game. So basically we got colorful nail hits, which is really cute. He's like hitting with the it's not the nail, it's like the, the brush, right? We're hitting with the brush. It's gonna be weird to fight Sly as Shio. Oh, we get a jellyfish from the start. Come on, really? Another one spawned exactly where I was landing? You're kidding me. You have to get hit at Umu. You have to. You just have to. That's the unwritten rule for Hollow Knight, for Pentium 5. Let's go.
nice. Sly, it's me, Sly. Sly. Don't you recognize me? Why is he attacking me? I'm Shio. I'm your... I'm your pupil. Sly. And he's not... He's not paying attention. Let's go. Ow. A galley? Ow. Too much sha. Let's go, let's go, go, go. No, I fucked it up. I should have either jumped or dashed to him. Instead I just dashed back for no reason. Let's go. Shield destroying Pentium 5.
I walked into that. That's not a good juggle. That's also not a good juggle. Okay, time for the big seven bosses. Let's recharge our soul. And let's go. Let's go, let's go. Wow. Okay. Sao, Sao. Where did that dagger come from? I did not see it spawning or anything. It just hit me. Okay, it was a good Markov fight. I'm happy about that.
What the? Wow, oh, okay. No, I had no to go. I was in the corner. Yeah, I should definitely use more spells against Zod. I say that every time and I forget to do it. Okay, can we stop with the bombs? Well, solid Zod fight as well. Solid Markov, solid Zod. Good fights. Maybe it's because I'm the painter's pupil. the staggers all about getting the staggers and all about the patterns following the stagger let's go time for nakag nakag I love how this kind of attacks, like the Pufferfish attack, kind of reminds me of like uh, Cuphead because there's a lot of like bullet hell similar things in Cuphead. And what I love about it is that you basically, I I don't know how other people do it. I use my peripheral, like I don't exactly focus on anything when he does that. In the picture, I don't focus on the orbs I, when I look at the screen. I kind of unfocus if that makes sense i look at some random point and i just uh see both the orbs in my night and just jump around but i don't follow the orbs with my eyes you know but that's only because i know the patterns already and that's also something i do when i play cuphead i don't focus on one point in the screen and that's why it's easier to dodge a lot of stuff That is thrown at you from multiple directions because you're not tunnel visioned by something. You know? On something. You're not locked on something. Of course, if you know the patterns, that's extremely easier, but you get what I'm trying to say. I think. And if you don't, let me know in the comments and I will explain. Okay, it's time for the ending, the finish line, the PV and Absrad line. Let's do it.
Let's go. PV can touch us. Let's see if Absad can. Can touch this. Can touch this. Can touch this. Yeah, I'm I'm playing this song in my head. Let's go, Absad. Let's go, let's go. Yes, yes. Absolute radiance. Let's go. Much orbs. Much wow. Yes, yes. It's amazing how Absolute Radiance, I've done this hundreds of times, this fight, it never gets old. It's still impressive, it still has amazing music, it's still a really good fight, it's still challenging. I mean, not as challenging when I first fought it, but it's still, it's still a challenge, I still get hit sometimes, like, it's really well made. The adaptation from Radiance to Absolute Radiance wasn't so big, but the concept is really, really good. Ah, why did I jump? Okay. Still a very well made final boss for the game. Very well made. The whole dramatic climb to the end. Also really cool. Okay, can we like get better RNG? That's better. I, yeah, I, I did out a bit early. It's okay. Yeah, this part is also really cool. With the beams and you're climbing against the beams. Radiance doing double damage also makes sense. And this finale at the top of the top. That's really cool. I really like this fight. Really one of the best boss fights I have seen. Also really well made with the phases. Very nice. GG guys, GG. We are at day 69 of beating Pantheon 5 until Hollow Knight Silk Song release. Let's hope now we get to see Silk Song release since we did 69 days in a row of beating the Pantheon. If you guys have any skins, public skins, that you want me to use in my next runs, let me know. Um, in the comments or in the Discord. You can also join my Discord, of course. I will continue with the chess streams as well. Let's hope we improve them. I want to thank you for watching the run. I hope you have a good day. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed yourself and got entertained. 
and we shall meet again as usual in the next time and the next one of Pantheon 5.